Hey everyone, taking a look at Storify. This is a tool that I use a lot um, in my own personal work and I also use it in my classes with students. We use it as a way to assess learning. Uh, we use it as a formative and summative assessment. Uh, basically, Storify will take all of social media, you know, social media content, things that people are sharing online, and it will allow you to pull that over and make a story about it. Uh, Storify is a free uh, tool. Uh, you can basically, I'm already signed in, you can sign in using Google accounts or your Facebook account. Um, it's a really powerful tool and uh, you know one of the challenges of course is you know if you're using this to share and collect and curate social media pretty much anything that you pull over will be involved will be used in your story or could be used in your story uh, so the way we get started I mean if you want to see what's out there you could say okay I wanna see what stories are out there about Egypt um, you might be able to find some other content that people have shared earlier um, but if you want to start your own it's pretty easy. Uh, I'm going to click on new story uh, and so what it'll do is it'll basically give you a nice suite of editing tools. Um, basically it'll you know your story and your what you will share will end up on this left side of the screen. Over here on the right will be all the content that you pull. So I'm going to basically give this thing a title and I'm going to call it a, uh, a test drive. Give it a description this is a test drive, if I could spell, of Storify. And then over here, I can search Google+, SoundCloud, uh, Storify, other Storify content, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Flickr, Instagram. I can add links, so if I have a link to a blog post or a website that I want to share, I think I have everything added, uh, so I have a couple other pieces I can add app.net, uh, some some GIFs. Uh, so I'm going to go into Twitter uh, and let's say I want to find some tweets that I shared. I can add my address, hit search. Uh, it'll show the top 20 um, and then you can scroll down if you have a lot of tweets as I do. You can scroll down and hit show more results and just keep going back in time. Um, if you don't have a lot of tweets that's not that problematic. I can also do a search. So let's say I'm searching for the DML Commons. So I can search for hashtags and pull content over. So basically if I find content that I want, I can search for favorites and everything else. If I find content that I want, I basically click and drag it over. Okay, so it's pretty easy. I'm clicking and dragging, uh, pulling content over uh, just for Haha's. Let's take a look and see what people are sharing. Uh, I want to look on Google Plus for uh, the DML Commons. See what people are sharing over there. So we see one piece. Um, so once I have content over here, I can click and I can drag the content to a different order. Um, I can also, if I want to, I can click in the middle and I can add text. So one thing that I do is I have my students enter text here uh, to reflect. So they basically go in, they'll share a bunch of content, they'll indicate uh, what they've learned over the course of a week, they'll tell me where they learned it, you know, send me individual tweets showing me what they learned and how they connected with others. And then in between, they'll have little text boxes letting me know uh, or, or reflecting or digging a little bit deeper to tell me what they learned and, and basically what they got from that individual content. So after you're done and you look through all of your content, what you're going to do is uh, you can format all this. We're going to hit publish. So I'm going to click on view and publicize. And so one thing it'll do is it'll basically tell me um, that it's going to notify other people that I've been talking about them. Okay, it'll also send out a tweet sharing the story. And this is really nice because it allows you to connect with your personal learning network and let other people know that you're talking about them. Um, and then the nice thing about that is that they'll probably, you know, talk about you and share your work. Um, so if I get rid of that, I can go in here and I can 
This is the page for the test drive that I just created. I can go back in and edit and restart this thing. I can embed it into a website or a blog post, which I definitely recommend. I can change the template if I want to and change that a little bit. I can re-notify people. I can also go back and share this thing and I can basically tweak it uh, and tweak some of the sharing settings. Uh, if you want to go back, you can go back to my stories and see all of the content that you've created and all the things that you've test driven uh, or built over the time with Storify. Uh, so once again, this is Storify. It's a great tool. It's free. Uh, you can use it uh, to create stories using social media. In the past, what I have done is I've used it with my students as a formative or summative assessment. I could also see using it in a classroom as a way to work with students to uh, either build prior knowledge before going into a unit or as a way to review with students at the end. Um, but basically, it's a really nice tool to create one text using content that is out on social media. Uh, so once again, that's Storify.